Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry here, and this is our Music Minute where we're taking a look at the hymns we'll be using in worship tomorrow on the second Sunday of Advent. And we're going to start with the hymn, uh, the sending hymn, I think it is, the Hark the Glad Sound. And the author of this wrote over 400 hymns, and what was unique about the hymns that he wrote was they were specifically to be used with his sermons. Um, so he was a pastor, and this particular Hark the Glad Sound was written for December 28th, 1735. That was the sermon that was delivered that day. And the tune name is Chesterfield, but interestingly enough, it's also known as Richmond. Now, isn't that odd that we have Chesterfield and Richmond right here in Richmond? Um, but they actually have nothing to do with those. Uh, they are named for Lord Chesterfield, and Richmond came for Lee, Her Lee Richmond, who was a pastor uh, as well. So this is Hark the Glad Sound, Chesterfield. child is this. The tune is Green Sleeves. This is a new addition to our hymnody, relatively new. It was written in 1986. It is strongly, of course, connected to the Green Sleeves tune, and that was intentional. That was an intentional pairing because of the strong association of the text with Christmas. And uh, just as, an, for example, uh, wonder and awe at the gift of God in the incarnation and the gift of Jesus in the Eucharist. So you can see where those, those words all come together from both sides. This was actually written at the request for a communion song that could be sung during communion during Christmas. So that's how it all ties together. What feast of love.
relaxing, almost lullaby-like Christmas tune. All right, next we are going to go with Rejoice, Rejoice Believers. And this is a hymn of rejoicing at the bridegroom's coming, and it goes with Matthew 25, which is the parable of the, the foolish and wise bridesmaids and so forth. This first appeared in German. Uh, it had 10 stanzas, like a good old German hymn would. Uh, the tune is actually a Swedish folk melody, and it can be seen, or is seen by some people as too repetitive, quote unquote, uh, but it's dance-like, and it makes it bounce, and it keeps it alive. So this is a little more subdued version of it uh, than we'll be singing tomorrow, but it's a nice reflection on Rejoice, Rejoice, Believers. recognize that we only sing once a year because we only have Advent once a year. Um, but we look forward to singing them each and every Advent. Last but not least, we have Prepare the Royal Highway. And this comes from the Isaiah passage where a highway is made straight for the King of Kings. Uh, the hymn is of Scandinavian descent, so we have lots of worldly music today. And this too is a dance-like hymn that moves along as such. However, we're going to do it in gospel bluesy style tonight. So it'll be a little bit different. Prepare the Royal Highway.
you into a little bluesy New Orleans setting of some sort. Ah, something for Advent, right? So thanks again for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you again next week for the third Sunday of Advent. If you're coming to join us in worship tomorrow in person in the sanctuary at 8.30 and 11 o'clock, and the 11 o'clock service will be live streamed on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining. We'll see you next week.